What's good, everybody? Hope y'all having a wonderful day or night whenever you tune into our podcast. Welcome back to Nerds and Mics. And yo, we unfortunately have a uh, a little bit of an announcement right now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, unfortunately, the homeboy Jerezy, he has decided to uh, move on. So uh, you know, he um, he will not be joining us for any more episodes. You know, uh, this is a, this is a tragic. Tragic thing right now, because unfortunately we're, st- we're starting off the podcast by uh, bumming y'all out a little bit. You know what I mean? But it um it, it is it is what it is, fam. You know what I mean? Like at the same time, I hope uh everything works out for him. But like, what I will say is that uh it uh definitely was a lot of fun. Like he's been he was he was on here for a long time, bro. He was literally even before you, homie. <laughs> like, yeah. Right. Yeah. See you next time. It just—it's crazy. Yeah, he just—he was just a guest for so long. But um, yeah. So R.I.P. to Drazy for being the co-host, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, let's move on from that. Let's go to something different. Uh, yo, crew. I have a hilarious thing to tell you, bro. Um, uh, my week, my whole week has been great. But I'm not gonna lie, man. I uh, I have some. I have like a woman in my. A woman in my apartment building who would be considered a Karen. And yo, Jack, I love her, bro. She literally, she like literally, like if there's like any loud noises going on, she like literally c- c- shuts them up and calms them down like right away. It's like, dude, it's like a fucking dream. Like literally, like if there's like, for example, if you're not, if you're, if you're at a party, you don't give a shit how loud the music is. But if you're at the party, if you're, if you're not at the party, you're like, yo, I don't want to fucking hear this loud shit. And like literally I'll be like, yo, do you hear this party? And she's like, yep, I'm already on it. She already was fixing it, bro. She's already, she already was fixing it. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's great until she, uh, she's, I guess, against you, right? <laughs> Yeah, but then again, like I don't. Uh, if I ever throw a party, I I would never want to throw one in in my in an apartment building because, like you know, like I said, like just like that, neighbors can get really, mm-hmm. really unhappy and kind of like pissed off a little bit. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, man, she uh she's the fucking best. She literally just like calms everything down and like shuts everything up and it's just like so quiet. She seems the kind of person where if she like gets really old, she'll literally like um. What do you call it if she gets like really old it'll be like you just are like you just sneeze and she's already like getting the broom hitting up like yo stop the racket shut up shut up i'm calling the police you know what i mean <laughs> so it's like but dude she solves all the problems and it's fucking great <laughs> damn i mean that's the first time i've heard, ever heard someone say i love a karen like <laughs> oh bro it's great i love her she's awesome she solves all the problems so easily um but I will say, yeah, that's one thing I want to say. How has your week been so far, though, bro? Good, good, good. Uh, it's been actually really nice in Chicago. So I got sunburnt on Wednesday when I was outside. But, like, <laughs> it's actually not that bad now. But my nose was pretty burnt. But, like, I was surprised. I was like, what the fuck? It's 55? Like, what? Like, yeah. Right? Today it's actually really, really cool here in Michigan. I, you know, I kind of like after this whole winter. It's either, like in Michigan. I don't know what's, like, what's been in Chicago. But in Michigan, it's either, like, it's either... It's either, uh, it was either really nice or it was like 40 to 45, like, you know, just a cool, crisp feeling, or it's literally like so, so bad and so icy and so snowy that literally everything's canceled. So it's either really nice or just really ass. So there was no like in between where it's like, you know, cause like, yeah, I think 40 to 45, I like it, but when it goes like 20 to 25, where it's so fucking cold that you can't even like. Uh, right when you walk outside, like your fucking face hurts because it's so cold, like that. I I don't like that shit. Oh yeah. And you always, you always have like, and like I always have people like who follow me on on Twitch or the podcast or whatever, and they'll be like, "Yo, I'm not gonna lie, man. Like, uh, I like in the west, like they're like the west coast. They're like, yo, 55 and 60. It's like kind of cold. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. You don't know what cold is, fam. 50 <laughs> to 50 to 60 for us is actually like great weather. That's actually fun, like awesome weather. Yeah, me. I mean, especially in like the middle of February or March, you know, like that shit is like, right. the best because like we don't. It's the best. Bro. I mean, it's the best, but like also it's a sign that like global warming is fucking up our planet. Like that shit shouldn't be that warm in fucking February or March. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. things are things are getting up, bro. It's so wild how literally people think that global warming is a myth. 
Like, it actually, like, really is surprising to me. Like, dude, it's, it's, not, it's not even, like, something that could be, like, deemed as, like, a, a, like a, a fake thing. It's just literally, like, the earth is getting uh, getting warmer, so it's, like, ice is melting, and there's, like, you know what I mean? It's just, like, it's simple as that. Like, if you want, just go test that theory at your house. Just get, like, fucking ice and put it somewhere where it's hot, and it's going to melt. That's just literally what's happening. Well, you, I mean, like... <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically, like, it would be happening normally, but, like, we've, as humans, we've built up the ozone layer, right? And so because of that, it all of the the heat that we disperse out from like carbon emissions and everything, like it just gets bounced back at us. So it's like a That's true. It's like a, a, a like a shield in a sense, not allowing anything to escape. So that's why the shit's like basically just heating up as much as it is. It's like a fucking like I don't know. It's like a greenhouse. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, it's, it's like it's, it's exactly like a green. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I was watching uh I just clicked on like a YouTube short. It was like a it was Joe Rogan and Neil deGrasse Tyson. It was like it was just like a, it's a short. So it's like it's like a minute long, right? And uh it was saying that Elon, you know how like Elon the whole thing about we talked about this a million times how Elon literally wants to like go to Mars and build a settlement on Mars. He um he literally said that cuz like apparently in Mars it's like like negative 81 degrees. That's that's Fahrenheit for us Americans. I don't know what it is for people in the. If we have any listeners in the UK, I know we have a, a couple. I don't know what it is in Celsius, so I, I apologize for that. But like here, it's like it's like negative eighty one degrees Fahrenheit, and um, bro, his 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 idea to like make the the Mars warmer is to nuke certain parts of Mars to like make it warmer for human uh to make for warmer for humans to like walk around without like fucking because you know then it's like you have to walk around with so he has he has a plan to nuke parts of mars which is wild <laughs> I, you know mean, what I mean i i guess bro that sounds like disaster way to happen but yeah that, that's that's like that's 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 some crazy that's some crazy shit right that, that like, sounds like chernobyl like all over again in a sense you're just gonna have like <laughs> pockets of radiation like just uh, chilling now that's pretty nice i guess yeah, we're gonna have world war three on mars bro yeah no Dude, i mean I just... that that i mean that is true though that it is really cold on mars and they like they would have to create some sort of like atmosphere because like there's nothing it's just fucking there's ice nothing. <laughs> there's nothing <laughs> you know what i wonder about is like um i wonder if it will be because here's the thing that i'm wondering about right Cause it's like, uh, is it if it if it really do, if we really if that's what it comes to? It's like we have to literally just start nuking shit on Mars. It's like, bro, how how would that even work? How how do we just? I mean, it's one thing getting a human to Mars. Then we got to bring like fucking actual like nuclear weapons to like a whole other planet that's like four hundred million miles away. Like, that's some wild shit. You know what I mean? I mean, if the human race, you know last as long as it does i mean i'm sure at some point though will, they will literally be like space wars i'm sure like so like yeah. that would probably be the start of it like you know like spaceships <laughs> with weapons and shit like that or like yep. uh <laughs> nukes in a war. sense <laughs> we go into world war 69 giggity giggity goo you know what i mean true yeah you know, i mean if we don't kill bro, ourselves off by then <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh my, yo, okay, this actually blew my fucking mind. I saw another one, Neil deGrasse Tyson thing. He was talking about literally um, how big the universe is. And what's wild, okay, actually, before I even touch on that, another thing about Elon that I heard, bro. Yo, I was talking about this with my, supervi with my supervisor at my, at my job. And she was saying that, like, I was like, yo, like, Elon Musk is, like, one of the most smartest people ever. And literally, she's like, is he really that smart? Like, I don't think he's that smart. And I was like, bro, have 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 you in there? Like, Brad, have you even seen him in an interview? And I was like, have you seen him in an interview? <laughs> like, bro, you're talking about, bro. If we literally can get to Mars, that's like the most biggest accomplishment humanity will ever do. No, no question about it. There's not even anything that's even comparable. Like, the moon is one thing, but the moon is like, <laughs> the moon's like a couple thousand miles away, where like fucking Mars is millions. And not only that, but like, I was like, dude, that's just living proof. That no matter what you do, Jack, you will always, no matter how much good you do, you'll always have some haters, bro. It's just living proof. Yeah, I mean, I, th I right think there. those people, when they speak like that, I think they're they're not looking at, obviously, like, his, like, seen success. Like, you can actually, like, mm -hmm. like actually, like, see, like, all of the, the success he's done. Yeah. They're looking at it probably, like, those, like, 
other interviews or things that he's done where he's been like awkward or something. He's been like, you know, he's at the, right. at the, at the heart of it. He's like, a, he is a nerd and people forget that. Like yeah. that's what allows him to like work as much as he does and, and do what he does. Uh, and so he's constantly, you know, changing and shifting ideas. So like, that's probably why people are just so like kind of quick to speak, uh, you know, down on him or be like, you know, I'm not a fan he's or a, something. But again, yeah, yeah no, you, you, you can't like say that he's not successful like that. Like that's not true at all. Like what? Well, no, they were, they weren't really talking. They were talking. I've always everyone, dude. I mean, everyone knows he's the richest dude in the planet. Mm -hmm. We're talking. I was saying like they're just saying he's not smart. Like I mean, but bro, you can't be a dumbass and run like five fucking companies. You know what I mean? Like he I mean, owns, you can. He literally you, has. You can. Can you though? <laughs> yeah. Can you though? Yeah, you can. There, there, there are ways. I mean, uh, you could be a, you could be like a shyster. You know, you could be someone that's like scamming the fuck out of people. And as long as you're the smartest person in the room. That's all that matters. Like, as long as you're okay, like but... getting money from them, like, I, bro, my parents know people like that. You know what I mean? Like, there are people in like the financial world that will do shit like that. Like, they'll just, if as long as they can take advantage of people, they will. You know, like, <laughs> bro, but bro, like, can you? Okay, well, like, oh, dude, let's say he actually is a scammer. Would a scammer literally be able to like fucking run Tesla and SpaceX and buy Twitter and buy fucking PayPal and all that shit? Uh, I mean, you know I mean, no, yeah, no, like that, that shit. Like, that, <laughs> yeah, exactly, I'm, no, exactly. I'm saying, uh, I was just saying like to the argument that like you can right. run those companies and be a piece of shit and be like, not like for the people and everything. Cause there are companies out there like that. There are like people out there that operate on that level where they just don't True. give a fuck about your average person or man. And they just like, <gasps> well, are trying okay, to make as much money as they can. Right. Okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not down on that. He could be a fuck. He could be a dick for all I care. He, I. I have no idea who mm -hmm. he could be. But I saw yeah, as far yeah. as we his don't intelligence. Know him. Yeah. As far as tell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's another thing, man. Yo. Like when people can have their opinion, but like yo. Then again, it's like yo. Have you? Have you? Have we met Elon Musk? But then again, bro. I'm not gonna lie. He's a nerd. We gotta get him on the podcast. <laughs> could you? Could you imagine, bro? Could you imagine? I doubt Elon that Musk would be here? at the uh, the top of his list, but that would be pretty bro, interesting just, yo chat you yo guys i said chat <laughs> guys you already here first man listeners of nerds and mics next episode we're gonna get elon musk on here bro it's gonna happen man I'll, I'll i'll hit him up i'll dm him every single day until our next episode man he'll he'll respond <laughs> <at some point. laughs> that'll, that'll work he'll he'll uh he'll see <laughs> uh, bro yo d dude can you imagine if that actually happened and, like literally we got elon musk to talk about oh, the things he wants to do but also literally we got him to talk about fucking movies and tv shows and shit that'd be so lit i mean again i think we would have to get to a certain level to uh even acquire his attention like for him to do shit like joe rogan and stuff like that like it's probably because he's a fan well, yeah jo know? joe has the biggest podcast yeah on the planet. well that also yeah. exactly too yeah <laughs> well that 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 also yeah is another big reason <laughs> Yeah, so it's like literally like every single I think like every Elon Musk interview that Joe Rogan has done literally has like <laughs> has like sixty million views. <laughs> I do I do not uh not, I I believe that you know like I don't yeah, disagree yeah. like <laughs> oh you, know, you have to the, the numbers are there fam. Uh, numbers numbers do not lie Although, okay I was gonna say numbers don't lie but then again you said there are scammers out there maybe he's like view botting no I'm just kidding I'll, I'll love to Joe I'm a huge Joe Rogan fan I'll love to Joe no no <laughs> definitely not Joe Rogan but dude, dude like that's the thing yeah, yeah. too there are a lot of people you would not expect that like at least got their start with like bots and shit like I know Travis Scott ah. specifically I think he got like using bots he used on SoundCloud to boost his numbers so that no. people yeah but like Look at him now, bro. Like, are you going to fucking, like, you know... Well, I mean, he did do some... The, the whole concert shit where he did... <laughs> that's a little, uh, you know, iffy now, hey, but, what, like... What happened? The concert? Oh, you did you not hear about this when, uh... I didn't hear... Yeah, no, no, please I think enlighten it, me. I didn't hear about it was this. A couple, it was a couple years back. Maybe... No, it might have been two years ago, maybe. I actually don't know the date. But he does okay. this thing. It's, like, Astro World or whatever, and he hasn't done it since. Um, but it's, like, a festival, right? And I think he did okay. it in Houston... And basically, Travis Scott is known for, like, throwing very rowdy, like, concerts. Like, uh, like specifically the one in uh, Chicago when he was here, like, and I was, I was at. Like, girls from my high school were able to get up on stage because he was just letting people come on stage and, like, no get up. Shit. So, kind of, like, that mentality kind of going throughout all of his, like, concerts, right? Where he's kind of very, uh, he tries to involve himself very much with the crowd. He tries to get people like hyped and get people to come up and shit. 
Um, so like that going into it, I think this is like the second or third year he was doing Astro World. Um, like there were so many people, and I think it might have been because they might have rushed in, or they may have even oversold tickets. But they basically had a a shit ton of people there, and because they had so many people, um, like at a certain point, people started to get crushed to death. Like you, I think you Whoa. had three or four people that died of being crushed to death because there were so what? many people pushed into a small into like a space and because you have so many people like kind of like stacked on top of each other there's no room there's no way for people to get out there's no way for people to get through i think like emts were trying to get through to people and they would not even move oh my god um oh, yeah shit. so like th there were kids that died bro like it it was a whole uh, thing so like uh, s since then Jesus yeah Christ. he's since then that's probably why you haven't seen a lot of travis scott work be released or anything because he's been having to deal kind of with that that backlash and wow. it's like people are mad at both like the city i think for not having like good regulations and like letting the right amount of people in you know like letting too many people in and then right. also uh they're like obviously like pissed at travis because i think like basically I, also at a certain point he had people like coming up or like he tried to like he didn't really like you know take it as seriously when they were talking about people getting crushed and shit like he could have right. stopped the concert and he he still continued it. I think that was like the biggest issue. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, wow. That I'm surprised you didn't hear about that. That was like pretty like big. When I that had never heard of any of this. But then again, also I never listened to Travis that much, so mm -hmm. I I guess I wasn't really in the media about that. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was just in but, the news, so that's why I was like surprised that you. Right. Didn't, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, bro! Yo, like you said, kids and all that shit died. Like that's. Yeah, there's a there was a big like lawsuit wow. that they had to settle, or Travis had to like pay the the families that suffered. You know. Um, right. That yeah, dude. But like, isn't that that's like, I've never been at a place Insane. like that before. But I I mean like I've been in crowded like spaces and like crowded parties, but like, even at Lollapalooza, like you do. F kind of get that feeling of like you are you could probably get like there's a lot of people here you kind of are getting suffocated in a sense mm -hmm. but like i never felt like oh yeah i'm in danger like i'm gonna get crushed to right, death, no. you know like i if at any point it felt like that you know i at least am tall enough and i'm strong enough to get out and get away from a crowd um and that's again that's why it's so fucked because like if you're smaller and that's right. that's like what happened to a lot of people is like they were smaller they just kind of got you know they got fucked like uh but yeah no like just you gotta you gotta be careful bro even where you got a fucking concert fucking like that crazy yeah you just gotta be aware of your surroundings you know like keep your head on a swivel whatever the fuck <laughs> damn dog you know okay yo homie i'm not gonna lie jack i literally saw uh i saw the world record for like the biggest concert ever i don't know it was some rock band i don't know if it was metallica or something like that but uh, dude, the it was literally like it was like held in like a big ass desert, and bro, there was literally over two million people. Oh, dude, what? Damn. Two million, two million people, and I'm not gonna lie, man, that's like terrifying. Cause like think about it, you, you not only not only is there like some people that you can't almost feel you can't even enjoy like the actual music. But second, bro, it's like you could literally just get easily trampled by like some fat piece of shit. You could also literally just get like literally someone could just, like some people, someone could, like you don't know what anyone's intentions are. They I mean, they might have like a fucking like they might have a weapon on on you yeah. and just hit you just because you know what I mean. Like, bro, that shit is that shit's wild, dude. That's well, that's no. Yeah, I think depending on probably when, whenever the time period was when they did that, right? That right. is probably an also like I know in like okay like in the. In, in I think the, it was in the nineties. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That 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 like that makes sense. I feel like I, I think now more recently really? people have become like rowdier. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, bro. Like people like I, I don't know. Also, it's like the vibe of the concert. But that's also funny because if it was Metallica, you would think that people would be going like crazy or some shit. That's exactly um, what I. Well, that's ex well, yeah. That's exactly what I think. Is like yeah, people just going insane, especially because like yeah, dude. Like, and also I I don't know, man. Like. Especially if it's out in the desert, like I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much security was there. Like, I don't know what was going on. Like, you know, in the desert, like it's like not. It's not like you're like literally somewhere where there's like like cameras and shit. You can get away with so much shit. Like, I don't know. I don't know, dog. That that was just like that was wild to me. It freaked me out. Yeah, I would not have wanted to be a part of that concert. Although I do love Metallica. Metallica was lit. 
but that still that scares me. You know what's funny about you said that you got a uh, sunburn, Jack? What's funny about that, bro, is like literally, uh, I didn't get sunburn recently, but what's funny is like someone at my job, um, one of my uh black friends at my at my job, they were like. Hey Brad, uh, do you hey Brad, um, do you like rock music? And I was like, uh, d- d- yeah, well, well, I'm white, bro. You know what I mean? And there, and I was like, yeah, like, have you ever gotten sunburn, Brad? Like, that was a dumbass question. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. Wait. I'm also looking right now. So it looks like it is Metallica in Moscow. Okay. Which I got it right. Let's go. I don't know if it's. Well, there actually, but that's not the biggest though. There is a one bigger, which is really uh, I've never, never even heard of. Oh, it's John Michael Gerard. I don't know. Yeah, I think I, I, might, I, I don't, know. don't know who that is. Yeah, that was in 1997. It was 3.5 million. Um, wow. In in Moscow again. I don't know if this is Moscow, Russia. Or... That's Russia, right? Yeah. Moscow's in Russia. Okay. Unless it was like somewhere in like. Arizona named Moscow or some shit. I don't know, but like I, I, I don't probably don't. I don't. I doubt that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, you, you never know, but like, uh, yeah, they, they, they had a lot. I mean, that that's pretty crazy, though. That's wild. Both almost four million people. Oh, that would have been a cool show. That, that's that's uh really? for the, for the Metallica show. They had Motley Crue oh. and ACDC uh like open for them. Oh shit! And Let's I think that's go. also what what brought a lot of people. It's like you had Metallica, right. Motley Crue, and ACDC. So, yeah, I would say out of all those bands, definitely ACDC is my least favorite. <laughs> really, Personal. really, bro. I I don't yeah. mind ACDC. I like ACDC. Motley Crue, you know, it's cool. Like fucking uh, oh, what's his name? Um, uh, fuck, now I can't think of the drummer's name. Um, uh. Uh, I don't even. Tommy don't even, Lee. Tommy, Tommy Lee, Lee. There we yeah. go. Uh, fuck, I, couldn't, I couldn't think of his name. Uh, yeah. Um, Tommy Lee. Yeah, he'd be, he'd be cool as shit to see. You know, Metallica. Even though they're a little, even though they're all. all I mean, all those bands are like kind of old as fuck now. But like, hey, it's it's still. It'd definitely be a different vibe compared to when you know you listen to their music when they were younger. But like, hey, it'd still be it'd still be a fire show to go see for hundred percent. Oh yeah. I mean, they. Uh, I think. What's that? What's it called? Woodstock was like one of the biggest. Okay, yeah. Well, actually, it wasn't the biggest. Okay, so the in comparison, in 1969, Woodstock had only 400,000 people. So it's just like wow. ever since then, it's just it, crowds keep getting bigger and bigger, basically. Um, and that well, was like I think also right. Go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say that's like that was one of the biggest like concerts of that time, like of the decade, really. Yeah. Like you know, like festivals and shit. Right, but also I feel like it, I mean, yeah, you had like you know Elvis way back in the day, but I feel like by that time, like like especially like you True. know way early, especially like in the eighties and the nineties, bro, like yo, there was nothing bigger than rock music. You know what I mean? Well, the Beatles actually too. They had oh, okay, that's only one hundred and eighty four uh, thousand. So. Yeah. You know what's wild, bro? I literally like looked this up. Would this, this would this surprise you? I looked up the top selling artists, top ten selling artists of all time. Would does this surprise you that uh, um, the Beatles are one and Michael Jackson was like number seven? Um, no, actually, or is that not shocking? Th- that's not shocking. It doesn't shock you. <laughs> I, I did a whole uh like thing or like a speech. I forget if it was a speech or it might have been a video. No, I think it, it might have okay. been a video on uh on the Beatles and like why they're basically like why why the beatles like what was so influential about them mm-hmm. and shit you know um and like i studied like their history and i studied like all of their work and they only made songs like for 8 years basically right. so hey, yeah like if you look at that and you compare it to wow. like yeah like michael jackson who like basically made music ever since he left the jackson 5 up until like his death yeah it is pretty right. crazy to like it it's it just crazy in general to think, like, why is this one band from fucking yeah. Liverpool in England? Like, why are they so? <laughs> why are they so influential? Why 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 yeah. do they set the bar so high? Why do they, like, and and what what it came down to? What I kind of realized is like it was it was timing, it was right. the the fact that they both. I mean, all of them were very creative. I mean, even Ringo. Right. Like, I know people give a lot of shit to Ringo, but like. 
he helped compose and make a lot of the music that we hear and like that is like the kind of like the aesthetic of the Beatles, at least right. they're like starting stuff, and uh and just like all, all also just like yeah they they really hit the scene like right as they were they were all really young too they were all in their t- early twenties, and so okay. by the time that they finished they were in their thirties you know and they had yeah. all this fucking like time ahead of them and so that's also why like the kind of like some of their work is considered like a part of the Beatles because like people kind of like they hear uh what the fuck is it uh that one John Lennon John Lennon song uh Believer or something maybe I forget what the fuck okay uh imagine no that's what it is imagine but like they think that's a Beatles song or some shit you know they hear a Paul McCartney song and they go oh that's a Beatles song like yeah like you're not wrong like that is one of the Beatles but like they continue to make work up until like you know they some of them died some of them are still alive you know right um, but yeah, yeah i think no, like i could be wrong but like i think uh i could be wrong but i feel like i think ringo is the i, mean, I could be wrong but i think ringo is the last survivor of the beatles there's still, two left we still have two we got paul and we got ringo okay but uh the only reason i the only reason i know ringo is still alive is because like i saw him do it i thought i heard uh conan the comedian talk about doing a bit with ringo one time and he was like saying like hey ringo why don't you go play saxophone oh no i possibly couldn't like oh come on ringo do it oh well right you know what i mean so it's like yeah that was a uh, <laughs> that was um so yeah it was really cool to see that but yeah uh um so yeah bro yeah but you know what's wild man it's like it's so crazy to think about yeah a band that literally isn't that long you know what's funny i saw a fa- i recently just saw a family guy episode and they did a bit about the uh it was like all generations of like things okay there was one that was about the 60s they started off with i just like, i went from the, he's like family guy is the longest running tv show ever it ran for like 70 years or some shit he's like literally like yo family guy started in the 50s all the way till right now and like we he's like we went through like 47 cancellations or some shit and uh uh, they went from the 50s to the 60s. In the 60s, it's funny, like, uh, Peter's like, oh, let's see what's on TV. And it was going, like, uh, one giant step for man, like, one step, one giant leap for man, kind of like the moon. And then it was, like, ch- changed the commercial. It was like, ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles. And then he's like, God, dude, there is just nothing on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's, I think that well, the 60s in particular is, like, a very influential, like, year. Oh, 100%. And- no, that, that, wait, that was the joke, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's really funny, though. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> Um, what's I thought, crazy is that like I thought you were gonna uh, do the bit where it was like the uh, when the Beatles they're like they have Ringo write a song or something and they're like oh, okay Ringo let's just put it up on the fridge here like <laughs> <laughs> like they're like oh nice nice job here we're gonna put it up on the fridge like everybody can see it yes like. <laughs> bro oh my god bro let y'all legend show let let's just such a legend show you know I'm not gonna lie man uh but yeah you know what's funny also about they did another thing in that in that episode where they were like. Uh, when obviously, because you know, like since Lois plays like Peter's interest, love interest, which obviously, because you know, on the regular show they're married. Um, <laughs> yeah. Literally, uh, Peter uh wants is like starting to like create um the band the Doors. He's, like, okay. The lead singer of the Doors. <laughs> yep. And uh, whatever, if y'all don't know, yeah. if y'all don't know that band, they're definitely a great uh '60s '70s band. But anyway, Lois is like, hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Pina, I'm dating an astronaut. This is the one. This is the one gen- era out of all time where an astronauts cooler than a rock star. <laughs> That's very true. No, honestly. Yeah, bro. bro like, the moon I mean, landing, bitch. They, I mean, I feel like that'll that could that <laughs> that could resurface though. That could like rehappen again, like. You know, oh, yeah. I oh, think, no uh, question about it. yeah, like as, the, as soon as the first, you know, astronaut touches back down on the moon again, or even Mars, like that's going to be, he's definitely yeah. leading with that. You know, oh, the first dude. time you meet someone at a bar, like, <laughs> oh, bro, can you imagine how big of a star you're going to be if you're the first one to land on Mars? Holy shit. Oh my <laughs> God. You, you're going to be talked about in the media for like months. You know what I mean? Like yeah, no, that shit's that... going to be wild, dude. Uh. Funny enough, actually, there's a show which I watch. I never actually even finished it, but it's like the concept is basically that when we first sent up like the men to the moon or whatever, like uh-huh. it's like if they don't come back, like what happens then? Like basically, we have right. this like national event with all these people watching, and then you have, you know, these people that kind of like they don't they they die and they end up like not coming back. So it's like, how do you come back from that? Like, how does America like? The, the history of our, our country would change from there, really, if you think about it. Right. Um, oh, 100%. 
but yeah no like that shit is that shit is great like as that i really hope people like understood like how like monumental that shit was like when it happened like oh yeah bro i mean like well dude think about it you're literally like you literally are off of planet earth but still alive you know what you know what's wild like dude even like dude even like the fucking like not only that is that crazy but dude just the idea of the fucking uh the idea of like literally being Think about how, like, bro, I'm not, I thought about this the other day. Think about how committed you are to, like, your job and your life if you literally live on the space station. Like, think about that shit. You literally live, you're going to live there for, like, the next, like, 20 to 30 years. And, because to, like, just, like, t- like, test stuff out and to make sure fucking, like, like, signals from, like, space are still okay. Like, you literally won't be, you're not going to be on Earth for that long. Like, imagine coming down to Earth and you're like, fuck, man, it feels so good to, like, eat fucking, like, McDonald's and some shit again. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, you are very committed to do that shit. Yeah. I mean, I think they like, you know, like you said, they're, they love their work. So however much time they need to spend up there, whether it's a year, whether it's five years, you know, like, they're fucking, they're down for whatever. Like, uh, 100%. The only thing is that they I've seen that they have to do is like they have to like work out in space and they have to like like basically like put weights on their True. body because like over time if you're not using your muscles like the same way that you use them on earth like to fight gravity in a sense like yeah. you're just going to get uh fuck I can't I can't think of the word atrophy that's what it is <laughs> you're going to get atrophy basically in your muscles so Oh uh, shit! Yeah, that that don't that does not sound too good. Yeah, no, I mean, but like, so like they 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 gotta be like you know they gotta be ready for like anything, bro. At any point they could get really? fucking hit with a solar flare and die out there, bro. Like, <laughs> yes, a hundred percent. Like, dude, that that shit that I don't know that shit's wild. And the thing about also like you're out, you're it's like there's no gravity, so you're just floating around for the next like twenty years. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, mean, like, I, I don't think I don't think they do that long of um. Of sir, like bro, they could not stay twenty years in space. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like literally, like I heard a podcast. It was actually literally ironically on Conan's podcast, Conan O'Brien. Uh, I heard on his podcast he invited somebody who like w- goes up to the space station and brings them supplies. And he said literally like the reason why he does that is because like literally they'll be up there for like twenty years. Shit will break just like in a house. So you really are gonna be up there for that long. Oh no, yeah, but like I think they they're also talk like. I think he's talking about like the space station is going to be like, you know, like I, I think they, they definitely switch like people out. They're not, I don't think, hold on. Let me, let me look this up. I got to make sure. Are you sure? I, I don't know, man. I know I heard what I heard. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But like, no, I can understand like maintenance and shit and like keeping, making sure it's supplied. Right. Like, cause that makes sense. But like 20 years in space that, that, I, that, I don't know about that. <laughs> that's literally almost as long as I've been alive. Yeah, no. Uh, so actually, well, that's, that's here, yeah. It's been no, Googled no, before. How long do astronauts stay in space? They stay in space at the ISS, the International Space Station, uh, for about six months. There are three to six say, crew okay. members on board at all time. So, they're they're. He's probably saying that he's done that journey for twenty years, though, which is okay in itself fucking crazy. Um, okay, like going up and back and not dying uh, you you know like what what the fuck like <laughs> okay i def okay i pull uh, all listeners i apologize for that man i definitely was way off with that shit <laughs> i just like i guess i guess i just heard it incorrectly but i hear a lot of things incorrectly nowadays <laughs> i'm getting we old jack no, we, we all do it's, our, it's the uh the inner fluid in our ear bro as we get older exactly it, it, it bro, solidifies yeah. and uh it fucks what? with our balance and fucks with our hearing so <laughs> that's why our, my foot these fucking earbuds can't stay in my ears bro <laughs> it's annoying um but bro okay yeah uh i literally speaking of the whole aspect of space well that whole that i was i literally got way off top remember that whole like neil degrasse tyson short that i clicked on mm-hmm. it's only like a minute long just a youtube show i just clicked on it and neil degrasse tyson was talking about uh he was talking about the whole aspect of the universe and it's like the universe is so big that like it and he was like dude there's there's no way even like i mean i know yeah no one can you can't prove it but he was saying it might as well be proven that it's like infinite universes because he's like he used this an example he's like bro it's not like it's not like fucking a video game. It's not like Mario or Pac-Man where you're going to like hit the edge of the screen. You know what I mean? Like it's not like you're just going to stop out of nowhere. There's not going to be some invisible wall. It's like literally there has to be infinite. And 
uh, he like to describe how big infinity is. It's like if literally, I mean, it's pretty just self-explanatory. It's like yo, know, literally, if hum like if humanity lives forever and we never ever die, there are still parts of the universe we will never see. Like, shit's insane, bro. The question is now is that like yo, how how will we? Do you think like we will ever? Yo, the question now is like yo. He asked like yo, do you think humanity will ever live long enough? Because I think it's like from one side of the universe to the whole other is ninety four, ninety five billion light years across. So that means that like the whole uh, aspect of light year means it takes the speed of light a whole year to travel that. So it takes light ninety five billion years to go all the way outside of our universe, which is wild. So it's like the question is, it's like, will we live long enough to be able to get to another universe? That's the question I want to know. <laughs> that no, I mean that that I mean yeah, like I was saying, bro, like uh, that's that is the question at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, we can we can talk about all this shit and talk about going places and things like if if the planet's fucked and we're all dead by the end of that, you know, like you know, I also at the end of the day too, the earth will will be able to come back from the shit that we've done to it. Like this shit will still be here even like after we're gone, even if it's not the same planet, it will still be here. Like the earth will take back like kind of right. like what we've taken from it in a sense. So like, yeah, if we're not able to keep our home and keep our earth, you know, stable and alive, then yeah, we, we probably will be, you know, kind of dead soon. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be really interesting, like to be, yeah. uh, I mean, I mean, for us, especially being like, you know, we're in the sense we're like fucking cavemen when it comes to space travel, right? We're at the oh, yeah, beginning yeah, yeah, of it. Yeah, we're yeah, like, yeah. we're like creating fire, you know. We're like yeah. learning that you can now cook on a fucking stove, or not a stove, whatever, a hot rock maybe or some shit. I don't know, but yeah. like, <laughs> but like, uh, we're we're just touching the surface. So yeah. if at any point we can even like get to the speed of light, which I, I don't at, in this like with the technology we have now, it's like, not not possible. Like that would. Do you, you think it's impossible to reach the speed of light to find something that can go to the speed of light? With have a person survive and travel at the speed of light, I I don't think that's possible oh, right now. Yeah, that's oh. We, okay. I think we've we've okay. We've been able to get somewhat of the way there. I think with like our uh, well, it's a hi okay hydron right well, or it's I, like a collider uh, or something like a we have a giant thing that like basically revs up energy or whatever, and it's like going okay. as fast as it can in like a giant loop. So right. to, you know, kind kind of get to the point, and I think we're like a fraction of the way there. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, it'll be, uh, if we can survive that, you know, or have someone survive that, it'll be interesting to see, but that's the hurdle that I think we're trying to get over. That's true, but I didn't think about that. But then again, okay, so it's like, so you're saying, well, some, let's just say it's like a car. Will someone be able to like get in a car or a spaceship or whatever and be able to literally uh, survive and not die by going that fast? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, basically, I mean, like, because no. like for now, all we can do is like we can use energy and we can send it as fast right. as, as that, you know? So it's not even a solid object because I think like it's like if you're going that fast too, it's like that shit is going to get just disintegrate you know it's gonna it's gonna right. it's not gonna be able to with withhold the amount of force and just like all of, like just everything coming at it like yeah it, it won't survive so that and then like yeah then a person is in there so <laughs> damn man now 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 i'm wondering like yo okay so damn so now i'm like wondering like uh because like i had a whole theory that it's like okay here's what i say do you think it's, uh, it's okay we can't like if we can't find something to go at speed, so do you think then it would probably be pretty much impossible to be able to ever see another universe then if no human can survive it? Or can we build some sort of like, like on some Iron Man shit, can we build like a certain suit that will be able to withstand that amount of speed and that amount of like power to be able to let us go that fast? Well, yeah, I mean, so then, yeah, I guess, it, well, then with the suit, it comes down to like the same kind of premise is like you need a material that can withstand you know yeah. uh said thing and i don't i don't even think it would be a suit because i think if if anything it would be a ship because you don't want to send a person through <laughs> you know like a fly on a like on a on a windshield basically you know yeah. or like a bug on a windshield so you're sending them into the unknown 
and there's something in front of them. <laughs> like that's just that's just guaranteed death, you know. So I already killed. But that yeah, fly luckily, with my like my brother just said, luckily space is huge. But I I I don't know. Like again, we we have to get over the whole hurdle of having material that can withstand even the the speed of yeah. light and like. Yo, Elon, you're wasting your time with Twitter, man. We got to figure out this shit. <laughs> this shit would be way more... Do like, dude, like, yeah, okay. Even, like, I mean, I understand why he bought Twitter. It's a lot of money, but it's like, bro, at the same time, like, I, I would much... Especially because it's popping right now. I would have... If anything, I would have much rather bought TikTok or some shit like that. You know well, what I mean? I think that, would, like, that was hard. That's harder for him because, again, I think, uh, like I said before, TikTok is a Chinese company, so... Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know that. So it's a Twitter is American owned. So I think that was a lot okay. easier for him to get a hold of. But yeah, right. no, I mean, <laughs> if you want to control the world, you should fucking buy TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. TikTok definitely controls. I, okay. Well, like, for example, I think TikTok is definitely like the, the, it's, it's by far the biggest social media platform at the moment. Right. Like no question about it. I would think so. so yeah. I, I, yeah. But... So. <clears throat> Go ahead. Oh no, I was going to say sorry. I was going to say that uh basically uh I did see recently that they are um restricting youth or whatever. So like Yeah. Uh now like if you're like under 18 or something and obviously you can fucking lie, but like even if you didn't <laughs> lie or whatever, but like it, if yeah. you're under 18, you can only have an hour I think of it of screen time on TikTok or some shit. Oh. Um okay. Which is really interesting, and that's gonna. I I wonder yeah. what that's gonna do to uh just like the overall uh viewership of TikTok, I guess, or like if if things if that's gonna change anything, or again, are, are people just gonna find ways to get around it? Um, yeah, which people usually do. You know what's so wild, man? Think about it, cause like yo, in like China, how we we talked about this before, how it's like China is so. China's TikTok is so different from America's TikTok because, like, literally in China, they it's like it highlights like sports achievements, or like sorry, excuse me, like sport athletic achievements, science achievements, math achievements, like really things that can benefit society. Mm -hmm. Where versus like here in America, it's like yo, literally like uh, a hot chick like shaking her ass will literally get like a, a, a million likes. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. It's like dude, at that point, man. Like dude, like dude, at that point, man. Like just go, like bro, just go to well, Pornhub or some it, shit. You it know shows. What I mean? Well, like, it shows. Our, also, it's like it's like America versus China's priorities, right? You know. Yes. What's absolutely? And in reality, that may be kind of true, though. You know, like we probably do hold someone that can get clout on the internet higher than we can someone that's like a scientist that's actually doing like you know, research on light speed or some shit, yeah. you know, fucking, that's yeah. just a drastic example, but like just something <laughs> in general that is actually like beneficial towards our actual society and like the development yeah. of it. But no, yeah, like you said, it's just like, yeah, for you page girl shaking her ass, shaking her, you know, tits, whatever, like, Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what our that's where we're at now. Like that's what people. Yeah, really no, that's wanna, and, and, and bro, I'm see. not gonna lie. Like that's kind of what we're where we've been at for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I think um, I, I think it's because uh, it's like uh, it's kind of like alcohol, right? Like at a certain yeah. point, like we took it away, and then people just wanted it more. So like, and and I think in America we started off very strict and very like you know conservative with like nudity and sex and everything right mm -hmm. and like in compare that to like france or some shit or like anywhere in like another country where they, maybe they're more open about it uh yeah i guess right. in, in certain asian countries it's a little little up there uh and definitely in the middle east but like like in other countries if you have a standard set higher or at a, sorry set at like an earlier time and like just kind of like that it's like nothing like it doesn't really like sex is sex nudity is nudity uh it kind of takes that power away you know and like yeah. with here we're just kind of like we've basically kept it so like up until i think like whenever the fucking porn scene came to came to fruition basically oh, which is, yeah, i'm sure bro. they've been doing porn for however long but like i think in yeah, like look, the I 80s mean, and the 90s is when it yeah, really where became, it was like videos and shit mm -hmm, it really became yeah. popular and i think that's when you have like just a really big influ influx of like um just sexual expression and like people like kind of like pushing the boundaries in a sense of like mm -hmm. what they can get away with in the terms of like 
nudity and sex and it's like rather than like them being i guess it's like in not really moderation but just like kind of like thoughtful about it like they're just like right. oh i'm just gonna do this because i can and because like that's that that shit sells and you know and that's kind of like also <laughs> what yeah. we've now that we've we're now that we're okay with it too a little bit more we're like now we kind of use it to sell things we use it to get what we want you know like that's that's a big like you know kind of move in a sense like but yeah and like you know it's like also like i I had a funny i told i had a funny bit on uh uh when i was like just doing my uh twitch thing i had a, I had a couple like one that i had was like it was like this is super random the, my second the second one the second bit i had actually will like uh relate to what we're talking about the first one i just want to say this is so funny i literally talking with this i was like yo chat like my fucking bro my grandma my grandmother literally had like oreo thins at her fucking house and i'm like dude chat that's just like bro when i'm like yo guys when have you ever seen a thin person eating oreo thins (laughs) like dude if you eat oreo thins you're just trying to make yourself feel better about eating unhealthy food when in reality you're a fat fuck like it's just just (laughs) face the (laughs) reality Way to out your grandma like that, bro. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Well, dude, I'm not going to lie, bro. Literally, like, uh, our family is just, like, very, like, crazy. You know what I mean? Like, yo, growing up, I remember literally, like, uh, my dad would, like, order food. And, like, you know, like, you know, other families, they have, like, family dinners. And they sit down to a nice home-cooked meal. My family, it's like, food's here! And, you know, eat at your own expense. Get the good TV. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's like just shit like that. But uh hey, you know, it's just it's just jokes, man. She knows what it is. And then also like um another one that I had was uh uh was talking about porn. I was like, you know, man, here's the thing, like uh I grew up in a time where I, or like I was still was able to be spoiled with it, but like I, I know like older people, it's like yo, like young really younger people have to realize this. Like porn is at your fingertips right now anywhere you go in the world in high def but there was a time when you had to be aroused by like the curve of some chick's ankle in a movie where like everyone's fully clothed <laughs> like times are definitely much better now <laughs> well and, well that that's the thing they are better and then they kind of are worse because uh, i i you know it, it's like a blessing and a curse right it's like oh yeah just just like you said you can you can get it anywhere and you can anywhere like, you want man you can watch whatever you want and watch, you know, there's, it's saturated now, the market, like it's, there's so much yeah. to choose from, like, <laughs> so many, bro, you go, you got like, you can get, you can go black, white, Asian, Latina, you can go fucking like different, like, you can go different genders of porn, like, bro, there's like so many fucking options, that was wild. <laughs> Dude, I remember like, when I was a kid and like, I was scared to look that shit up or like, I was like, I was like afraid, like. Like, cause they still like the the search history wasn't like you know perfect back then. Oh yeah. So like you know like at certain points, whenever like my mom would yell for me, you know like <laughs> she'd yell out you know my full name and shit. I'd I think yeah. oh shit here's this is the day this is the day that right. that she finds out like she look she sees all like the stuff that I looked up, you know like, <laughs> and I was like nope oh. they never it never came they never. You know, <laughs> I was scared about that too. I'm not, I'm not gonna remember when I was like 12, 13, when I finally discovered, I was like, yo, this is the best discovery that God has ever created. And so I literally remember when I was 12 or 13, man. And like, yo, when you're 12 or 13, you finally discover, you're like, mm-hmm. yo, this is awesome. You're like, yo, you, you decide, like, yo, is this you're a kid in, the, like, in a porn candy store? <laughs> oh my God, dude. And like, yo, like all the candy's free. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Actually, yeah. Well, and, that's the thing now. So, like, I think literally, you, you gotta pay for shit now, right? Or you gotta like, everything uh, used no, to be free back no, then. You do not. You do not, bro. You don't gotta pay for shit, unless unless you got that premium account. Which, bro, any any y'all got the premium account? Let well, me get your information. Well, that's man. what I'm saying. There's there's a premium account now, and there's like there's like yeah. the there's a paywall for certain things and shit. Like right, right, right. But like, dude, okay. I remember when I was told with 13. I'll tell the story to y'all listening real quick. Uh, this story is fucking hilarious. I remember literally when I was 12 and 13. I um, it was like, cause you know, like you know, when you're that age, like I mean, I I pay my own now, but like when you're that yeah, age, like your parents pay your phone bill. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So at least they did for me. I don't know about anyone else, but like they paid my phone bill. So uh. 
I and like my search history was fucking like dude, my search history was more was more filthy than like my bedroom when I was like ten years old. Oh, but dude, like I pretty much I had, I had to swim from my bed to my door. So it's like my my point my my search history was completely filthy. And like dude, I try to like re re I'll try to like delete all the search histories right away. But I was like, dude, now I'm wondering like yo, if like if like Sprint or some shit like that calls my dad, I'm like yo, are they gonna tell my fucking search history? I'm like yo, I literally like started gripping my fucking legs. I was like yo, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell them about my fucking search history bro like uh like dude that was act- i was actually little i would like sweat every time you get a call and then when the call was end- ending and-, and no one said anything i'd be like, Phew. But, like dude, it was- i was like i was super i was really terrified <laughs> hey man you gotta be you know you gotta be you gotta be on that you gotta be ready like yeah. you know as a- but it's like you can't you can't not do it you know what i mean it's like literally like it's like it- it's like it's it's perplexing to me how something so incredible could be so terrible just right after it's done you know what i well, mean uh, well, th- there's a multitude of reasons why people would don't like agree with it oh, yeah. and then so you know from religious to uh you know yeah that's uh, true man medical beliefs i don't understand that but yeah. like uh that kind of shit bro i'm not gonna lie man yo even though I, i'm not gonna lie because like straight up uh i was raised catholic right so i was raised like oh yeah we're at church every single sunday you know what I'm saying? And, like, you know what's crazy, man? Yo, like, my family, literally, like, they were like, yo, we're, we're Catholics, but, like, yo, we don't believe in that, like, bullshit where it's like, yo, you have to, like, I'm not, I'm not saying, yo, believe whatever you want to, man, but I was just saying my family thought it was bullshit. They're like, yo, don't, don't, like, hold off it. Yo, if, you're, if you have urges, man, that shit is totally normal. Explore your sexuality. Like, yo, literally, when you're in high school, man, nice. they literally bought me my first fucking pack of condoms, you know what I mean, when I was, like, 17, and That's ironically, good. I lost my V-car when I was 17. <laughs> so it's like, yo, they literally were, like, they were, like, super, you know, I'm saying just like dude don't do it you know what i mean because it's like that's so true bro i was like yo literally if i have that i'm doing the same shit for my kids bro i'm like yo don't fucking like literally do the thing is like oh i have to like can't do anything until i get married i'm like dude so you can't, you're saying i can't do anything until i'm like fucking 30 or something years old like that's some wild shit you know what i mean well dude there are people believe me there are, there are people older than us that have still not done that and they're like waiting you know for the the right person so like it it's it you know it's if you want to do it, you know, you can, but like, don't yeah. like, I, I think, yeah, like, like you said, like, just don't give people shit. Like, don't like try and like make people conform to whatever yeah. your beliefs are just because you believe them, you know, like ha- have, let people believe what they want to believe. Like, yeah, I'm not saying like, I, I'm not saying like, don't believe what you want to believe. I'm just saying like me personally, bro, I just don't find that shit healthy. Oh, yeah. at all. You know what I'm saying? It's just like being so sexually frustrated your whole fucking life. You can't even like, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I literally saw, uh, <laughs> I saw a dude who had um he had I saw a picture of him where he had like he literally had like it was on some like family guy type shit where he had like uh wood for hands and I'm like bro I'm not glad that dude has probably never jerked off in his life I feel so bad for him that's so Damn. sad man well, he's never done it in his life maybe what a he sad had hands life. before and then he and then he had the oh <laughs> oh my god I was like that's just terrifying how do you but, wipe? Uh, okay yo guys go ahead. No, how do you wipe? I was just asking, like, how does he wipe? <laughs> like, does he have to have someone come to the bathroom with him? <laughs> oh, bro, because you, you might get, like, splinters on your ass or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some real shit. How do you do that? Like, how does it like, stay you can't on even, like, the wood? Your... Yeah, you can't even, like, <laughs> bend your arm a certain way. Like, man, bro, like, like when I saw that shit, not only, like, a lot, one, I felt bad from one, but do us was like, yo, like, literally... If you want to, like, if you think your life is sucking right now, like, look at some people like that. And, like, dude, just realize how lucky you have it. Like, for real, for real. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's wild. Like, um, it's, uh, like, I literally remember my sister, she went to uh, India, like, two years ago. And she was, like, I'm not, and, like, it was, like, her, like, ex-boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend at the time, literally, like, her ex-boyfriend had, like, a lot of money. And he, like, he had, his dad had, like, a private jet. So they were, like, going everywhere. So she went to India. And she was, like, I'm not, she's, like, I'm not gonna lie, Brad. When I went there, if you ever feel bad about your life, go to India. Because, like, yo, your life is so much better than their life has ever been. You know what I mean? It's so like, literally, I remember, like, literally, she was talking about, like, yo, literally, when I went over there, that level of poverty made me want to just adopt every single kid over there. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, they, they, yeah. And, well, India has, like, a billion people, like, in yeah. the entirety of the country. <laughs> so, like, that in itself is fucking, 
bro so yeah so wild it, wild it, shit it would make sense that there is a lot of like you see a lot more poverty i think there than you do anywhere else um I'm, yeah. i could be wrong though because like i'm sure there are other countries that are yeah not as uh you know fully stable or i guess economically there, stable but right there might be some countries in africa or something like that i oh i know um, in, in brazil bro if you go to they're like bad in brazil it, it, dude they're the like i saw there's like a picture bro there's literally like a wall that divides like the rich neighborhood and the poor neighborhoods, like basically. No shit. Yeah, and it's like it. It. I'll show you it after the, the the pod, but like, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like to see, like at least there, like the, you can really see the divide in uh classes, basically. You know, you can see that there's a drastic, wow. literally line in the sand or line in the fucking city dividing the rich from the poor. Um. And that's all that it is really there. It's just rich and poor. It's no in, no in between, you know? Wow, dude. That's some wild shit. Yeah. Um, okay, one more thing before we sign off, because, like, this podcast just flew by. I look at, I looked, I saw my timer. I was like, holy shit. Um, one more thing before we sign off. Uh, I'm not going to lie, bro. If we just get on some movie shit. I watched, I find, I watched The Hangover 3 yesterday. So I finally, I've, I saw the whole trilogy. And I'm not going to lie, dude. I, th- Me personally, I was disappointed with The Hangover 3. Yeah. It was very, everybody, it, dude, everybody, it wasn't even a hangover. Yeah, everybody was. Um it's it's like a it's like a 2.5 basically it's not even really like yeah. a three <laughs> um but yeah i mean yeah it's it is good to see the characters again you know and to see yeah. those those like actors portray those characters and like that's really the best part of it really is like you get to be with the that group again um yeah but like yeah no you're totally right like it there is no there is no hangover at any point, really. I no, don't think, man. right? They don't even drink. They just kind of get. No, they, they don't drink. They, they don't drink at all. They, yeah, they literally like. It, they just have flashbacks from the first movie. Okay, any spoiler if you want to just spoil that, just mute right now. <laughs> but like, yo, literally, fucking like, literally, they just like have like bad things they remember from the first movie, and the antagonist just comes back and literally like just ruins shit from the first movie. Like, but yeah, it's it's like it's no hangover at all, dude. Like, yeah, like, but like, here's the thing. No, I'm not gonna lie. With those kind of movies, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I wouldn't like. You know, some people are like, you know, like for example, the whole Fast and Furious. It's like, oh shit, a tenth one here we go again you know what i mean but like i feel like with those kind of movies bro they're just like so funny and like the movies don't even like take themselves seriously i wouldn't be mad if they made like 30 fucking hangovers you know what i mean because yeah. like, those movies you could just watch just for like to have fun and like it's just just like so goofy and silly it's just like you know it's just simple like four dudes go somewhere and they forget everything you know what i mean yeah i mean again yeah it's very it's very doable <laughs> so it, it yeah it could be they could again come back again like the the actors are still you know working and stuff yeah. but uh yeah no it'll uh it is it is pretty disappointing though the way that they ended it uh yeah <laughs> i was upset and one more thing uh now that we're finally in march we got so many fucking good movies coming out this month i'm very excited what, what, we have what uh particular? one uh okay i, I can name a, at least three right now i know there's probably more but i can name at least three we have one coming out uh that actually it's actually it's actually out right now it just came out like two days ago on cause i think today's the fifth okay yeah today's the fifth so it came out three days ago uh i'm a big fan of the whole rocky series you know the boxer the boxing series so like creed 3 just dropped with michael b jordan uh i would love to see that because i i liked the whole uh i liked the first two movies um and the movie that I'm like, I mean, that one, I'm like, yo, if I see, I want to see it. But if I don't, it's not the biggest thing in the world. But the one that I really want to see, bro, is coming out in like next weekend, I believe. And it's called 65. And uh, it's basically, you know, the uh, I don't know his name, but the actor who played uh, the antagonist in the seventh Star Wars, the guy who has like that lightsaber that's like a oh, kind of a Kylo cross. Ren? Yes. Yes, oh, yes, so yes. Adam Driver, he, I think, is his name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's 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 gonna be the main guy in this movie. Oh, I've seen and, that with the dinosaurs, right, or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> man, it's on some like futuristic, futuristic Jurassic Park shit, where it's like literally these guys time travel back in time, and they uh. Is that they, what the, they, is they, that what it is? Is it time travel? Mm-hmm. Because like my brother and yeah. I were talking about that. Is like we didn't know if it was time travel or it was. Like them saying basically that there was like a civilization, like humans, like us, like right. thousands, millions of years ago, like during yeah. the time of the dinosaurs, 
right. and like and saying that like they existed even before we did which would be crazy if that was the case but if it is time travel that's kind of cooler too i don't i i i'm 95 percent sure it's time travel because mm -hmm. it's like well oh, because like literally the reason i know i think it's time travel 100 percent is because they uh they bring they have like futuristic weapons and they go and it's back 65 million years ago well so yeah, yeah, yeah. no I, I get that no i'm saying is like like but like what i was saying is like they what if there was like people <laughs> back then right like right with futuristic technology like even more advanced than what we have now and they just existed back then and they just crash landed on earth that's what i was thinking oh and it's like yeah you're totally right that it's futuristic tech but like like the you know kind of like kind of like you know before the dinosaurs like they were there oh. like you know like kind of like whatever like uh we were never around to see the dinosaurs right but we knew we knew we knew they were there like there's them yeah. saying that there there were people then that were just like us and they were so much more advanced in technology and yet they right. just like they were traveling the maybe the space or something and they landed on this planet and it was like you know dinosaurs and it was like our planet when it was prehistoric so i'll I'll just say like uh well i I, cause I I watched the trailer this is just what i remember is like yeah they literally go back in time and they get stuck back 65 million uh, years okay, ago okay so they do okay <laughs> yeah i think yeah i think that's what it i think i, I mean hey i could be you, your theory could be totally right i'm just going by what i remember in the, in the trailer but yeah what is this they time travel back they have their weapons with them they go 65 million years back and they uh <clears throat> and they are they get stuck back there 65 million years ago and they literally have to just like fight dinosaurs with their futuristic technology so i mean honestly i'm not gonna lie bro like just like a fun movie to see that sounds kind of like that sounds kind of lit like you know what i mean i yeah. would totally watch that shit <laughs> not true i would want to see it and see how like the story so, turns out so yeah we have those two movies creed 3 we have the movie 65 and the, another movie i know that's coming out which i'm also excited for is the next the second shazam Oh really? Yeah, you want? I, yeah. I like the first one. I don't. I don't know if I'll see the second one though. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, like, I, like, cause of the. I don't know if you remember. I talked about this. How they're like redoing all of DC. You know. So it's right, like. No, I remember that conversation very yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I don't know if I want to like watch something that they're not gonna like. You know, they're not gonna continue the story after. Like, this is probably the last Shazam movie that we might see. So like. Oh, Brad, your uh, your mic is it's off. Oh, it cut off. Yeah, it cut off right there. Okay, now you're back. Oh, okay. Now you're back. You're back now. now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're back. Okay, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was like, wouldn't that okay? If it's the last one, wouldn't that be a better, re more reason to go see it then? Maybe, maybe. Uh, I, you know, I, I still have you know to. I, mean? I still want to see. Uh, on my own time, I'll watch Black Adam because I want to see what they do with his character. Oh, um, you still haven't seen that? No, no, I haven't. I'm, I'm. Wow. Cause, yeah, because. I'm still watching uh, Last of Us, and then also oh, okay. I've been watching uh, <laughs> the there's a, a DC animated like universe basically. So okay. like uh, like this the show I watched when I was a kid, which was like the original Batman, the animated series. Like that yeah. shit ties into like the Justice League, kind of like the like the MCU in a sense. Like all that shit like ties in together. So I've been like watching through all that. I'm on Batman Beyond now, which is like dope as fuck. But, okay. Yeah. I uh, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I haven't not gotten around to watching the second episode of Last of Us, but bro, that first episode, I man, we talked about it via uh Discord, dude. That that first episode, it, it's like the, I was like, yo, this is this this this, this is gonna be very long, and I was like, yo, hour and a half for the first episode. This is gonna be super long and dry. It's like literally a fucking movie. I'm not gonna lie, man. That first episode, I feel like I barely blinked and it was over. Like that episode went by so That's, fast. Well, it was so great. So yeah, no, the, you're totally right. Like that's <laughs> that's how I feel when I watch the show. Like you, yeah. you get, you feel like you want to spend more time with the characters. You want to spend more time in the world. Um, right. And like, yeah, dude, I definitely keep watching, bro. It gets really like, it gets, it gets really fucking good. Like it, okay. it's about to. They have two episodes left now, so the next one's gonna come out tomorrow or no, actually tonight. Yeah. Um. Okay. But like, yeah, dude, it, it, it is fucking crazy. And and eventually if you like the story enough in, in the show, you can uh play the game when it comes out. It'll it'll probably by the time you have a PC it'll be out on uh PC. Okay. So See, like bro, that's that's what all shows have to do, man. They should have a new episode every week, just like how it used to be. 
Like, the, like fuck, for example, I loved the show Wednesday. That shit was fucking lit. Jenna Ortega, she's fine as fuck. She played that character so well. Then it's like, and the, but like, dude, we're not going to get another season. There's only eight episodes on one, on Netflix. We're not going to get another season for a whole fucking year. And I'm like, bro, why not just do it where you just have one episode every single week? You know what I mean? So Instead I, of waiting almost a year and a half for a whole nother like episode. That's just, just yeah. People, like, like, dude, it's it's like it's like anything, bro. It's like it's like a pod. It's like our podcast. Like if we stopped for like four weeks, people would be like, oh yeah, I'm not interested anymore. But it's like when you're consistent and you keep doing this shit over. It's kind of like even stream. It's like anything, bro. It's like streaming too. It's like if you stream every day or like five days a week or just very often, it becomes so part of someone's routine. They're like, oh, I gotta fucking watch the new episode of Wednesday. I gotta watch the new episode of Last of Us. I gotta catch uh, like Brad and Jack's podcast. You know what I mean? Like. Like it just when people when you when you take so long off, people just lose interest, bro. Yeah. Well, I think again uh, to also to answer your question, why they like release all of them at once um, is like Netflix was one of the like kind of first like sh like I guess platforms I said I guess like to ever like I think they made their first show right. They were like one of the first like to make like a Netflix show. Um, right. And they did it, and when they did it, it was I think I think House of Cards or something. Uh, I think okay. that was what I it was. I never saw that, but yeah, but uh, I've not, I've never seen it either. Uh, but like I think that was one of the first ones at least. And so okay. they wanted to make it different than like other streaming services and other like platforms, basically, uh, where you, like just like you said, they release it every week. And so they right. decided they're like, all right, we, since we have all the episodes already filmed and edited, like let's just release them all at the same time. Right. And because of that, the standard has been set basically that Netflix shows from then on would all be released at the same time besides, funny enough, besides Stranger Things um, because it had such a uh, monumental like influence and such, it was such a hit. Uh, they did like, they delayed, I think the, they did like up to seven episodes for the first, like the last season or whatever recently. And then they right. did the last two, like a month or two later, basically kind of like building the hype, getting people like time to catch up on the show, all this stuff. And then they eventually did it. And then like, that was like one of the biggest at the time, biggest, uh, you know, viewings they had before Wednesday, obviously. Um, but right. yeah. But like dude, you say a hit, but it's like, bro, Wednesday is like a huge hit as well, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie, dude. Like, I looked up the top uh, five Netflix shows ever, like, like actually made by Netflix ever streamed. Stranger Things is number one. So it's like, yeah, it is above. But dude, like literally Wednesday is already number two. Like, yep. No, you know well, what I mean? So I, it's like, I, th I don't think they, they knew it was going to be as successful. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's, true. that's probably why they, they did it the way that they did, because it was just like, okay. Right. Here's here's the Wednesday show. We don't know like how this is gonna do. This is the first season of it, right? We're gonna and it give it a shot. Blew up. <laughs> yeah, no, like that. That's just how it is sometimes. And like sometimes yeah. they don't even make a second season of a show. Like I think um, there's another one, Queen's Gambit, that was really popular. I still haven't seen that too. <laughs> but uh, bro, when I think about a show that only lasts one season, my first instinct, cause it's like I like I haven't watched that many star that much Star Wars stuff. To be honest, like I mean, obviously I've seen all the movies and I've seen a lot of some of the TV shows, but I guess the last like maybe like year, like three years, I haven't really like watched any Star Wars shit except for the series Obi Wan Kenobi. Mm -hmm. That series was incredible, and I was so mad that it only lasted one season. Well, like, dude, at that they point, might bring man, it like, back for another man, one. You think so? There's there's plenty of of time within his story to be told. Uh, like there's more shit to right. be told. Like he was, he was probably like ten years away from being what we see him in uh, in A New Hope in the fourth movie, right? When he's like old as fuck. So right. like, there's yeah. still ten years of unexplored like history. Um, I mean, he does. I, I know you like you said you don't watch any of the shows. He does show up in other shows. Um, but like right. in like his his story is actually really fucking. Oh, dude, it's so fucking awesome. Like him and Maul, Maul, Darth Maul comes back. Like that shit is like even better no shit yeah no that's it's it's all it's it's clone wars and then there's oh another show God. called rebels and it's they they really they they did such a good job with influencing the story that like right. uh, the mandalorian is like the showrunner from that is now like he's running that basically and he's like influencing okay. the story from there um and then like they're doing an ahsoka show which is uh uh anakin's apprentice from clone wars yep, i remember that I remember yeah that. um but yeah they're 
they really like trying to do less about the Sk Skywalker like story, you know, like all those, the the I guess like Luke and you know and like all that shit and Leia and everything. Like they're trying to right. stray away from that and do more like stories that are like in the world of Star Wars because it's so fucking cool. Like why wouldn't they, you know? I want I want, I definitely Leia, bro, because like Open One's my favorite characters. Uh, that dude was fucking lit all for the first like three movies and like. Obviously, he wasn't in many of the last of the original ones, but that came out way back in the day. But it is what it is. But anyway, man, yo, ladies and gentlemen, yo, obviously, yo, you can tell we have great chemistry. We can sit here and just talk to each other all day. But uh, yo, guys, we're going over way over an hour, so we're gonna uh, let we're gonna sign off right now. Uh, yo, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you guys for so much support. We literally have had our shorts just blowing up, getting so many views. The views have been skyrocketing. We love to see the support from all y'all, and we love to give y'all conversations kind of like this, just nerdy conversations about whatever the fuck is going on and movies and TV shows and all this shit. So, yo, we love y'all, man, and we will see y'all next week. <laughs>